Good morning and uh, welcome to the second part of this video. Now you see this question is actually giving you acceleration of the purse which is in the inner circle as uh, 2 meter plus 4 meter but you can see it's 2i plus 4j. So this question is also you know centered around uh, vector. You must have good knowledge of vector. Now see it's a circular motion and therefore the acceleration is always directed radially. So whether it is a purse or whether it is a wallet, the acceleration is towards the center, which is you know radial acceleration. So the vector notation of both the acceleration of the purse and that of wallet will be the same because the direction is same. You can see on the top hand, right hand side at the top, I have shown two and four as the components and the radial acceleration as the resultant of these two. Now essentially the acceleration of the purse has been given, we can calculate, uh, you can see on the left hand side, uh, the calculation for purse has been done and the vector, the unit vector has been written and this unit vector has come from the question itself, right? And similarly, the vector for wallet has been written and you can, you know the direction is the same. So the unit vector which has been used is common. Divide the two and you get that the acceleration of the wallet is 3 by 2 times the acceleration of the purse. Tricky numerical because it can lead you to believe that v square by r is a correct approach and also because of involvement of vectors.